everybody I thought I would do a video on my whole CD collection I'll do a quick scan and then I'll do a slow scan of the spines and everything and uh, you know eventually I'll go into these in depth I'll do parts of the collection this is the regular rock section rock and pop or whatever I do it kind of like a record store and then uh, in sections, genres, and there's the rock and pop, and continued, and then, then the last few shelves, or several shelves, are compilations, I believe. And there's a few box sets sitting on top of there as well. And speaking of box sets, here's some more box sets that we have. Going back into there where you can't really see very well. <laughs> And I recently um, moved my blue section all around. This is the blue section here, up to there, and then up to there, and down. And um, this shelf here on the uh, far, can I point to it? <laughs> that one, uh, used to be completely full with uh, CDs I haven't listened to yet <laughs> that I had bought. So uh, now those CDs are only right here and there's a bunch in the other room box sets and then we have um, bloodshot records only is these top shelves here and then down below is kind of newer country roots rock roots country alt country whatever you want to call it no depression um, things like that newer country newer real country modern twang whatever you want to call it and then over here is Older Country, and that goes all the way down. This video is not going to be easy, I'm realizing. I'm <laughs> fitting in here for everything when I, if I really go by all the spines. That, oh, and then the last, I don't know, what's that? One, two, three, four, five shells is all Rolling Stones bootlegs. And then these are CDs of friends, bands, people that I know. Um... And then these are bootlegs here, uh, and the bootlegs continue up here, and that's that for the quick scan. These are things that usually sit right there, meaning that uh, they're ready to go out and be sold or trade it in at the record store or whatever and then these are CDs from that go in the car and they go right up there all right let's try to see if we can do this nice and slow starting with the very top a few more box sets a couple of bootleg box sets and a bunch of legit box sets yeah okay now Hopefully people won't get seasick or dizzy from this. We'll just start from the beginning of the rock section. And we'll just keep on going. Eventually I'll do a Chuck Berry video probably. And over here is this J.J. Kale set. And then behind that just a few more CDs. And they continue. Sorry about the glare. See if I can get that out of there. And then, yeah, so I plan to do box set videos, individual artist videos, uh, record store hauls. Although I only do CDs, I still call them record stores. Record store hauls, like whatever I get at a record store one day, or several record stores, or a record show. Um, I will, I could do a video on all of that. I'm going to do a video, several videos on bootlegs. Um, I think I would divide those up by artists. I'm going to do a video on box sets, uh, several videos on box sets, and also I'll divide those up different ways, like Bear Family, um, or Hank Williams, or Chuck Berry, or whatever. I'm definitely going to do a Bear Family set. So we're still in just regular rock set here. Regular rock. 
Now, the record stores, they combine, uh, a lot of times they combine um, soul and R&B with rock. I do not do that. I forgot to mention when I went around in the quick scan where my R&B and soul is. I'm not, I don't have much stuff that's very current unless it's a band that uh, has lasted a long time and is still making music. All right, I'm getting down to. Oh, we're hopefully I'm getting close enough in these to see the spines. This is an interesting set. This Pink Floyd set. There, it's a bootleg set, which I did not know. Not a bootleg. It's a pirated set, which I did not know until I saw videos on YouTube and. Um, I asked the people, I said, hey, this is a pirated set. And they said, we'll send you your money back. Just don't tell anybody. <laughs> uh, and they said, you can keep the set. So I said, well, you know what? Okay, I will keep the set. And I'll keep my money uh, back. And um, it's got all the Pink Floyd records ever, ever released, all the Pink Floyd CDs ever released. And you can tell it's pirated because there's all kinds of mistakes in there in the uh, in the text. All right, now here is rock continued on to the next set of shells, and then we will at the end of this we will get to my um, soul and R and B section, which again will be mostly older artists and I've got a little sticker on each of these shelves telling me how many CDs fit on each one so I remember and I've I know how many I have which is I think around I don't know I have to see I have to add it all up again I think it's around 3400 or 4400 I can't remember which it's like, and that doesn't include the, the box sets um, that are in the closet there. So now we're already up to the soul and the R&B here. There's like and Tina Turner and Ted Hawkins and this incredible Stax box set and Ike Turner solo. And then the reggae section is very, it's pretty small because I only like a few reggae artists if I have it pulled out that means I want to listen to it like it's it's kind of new to me and I haven't heard it and then I get to compilations and some of those are in order alphabetically everything else is su supposedly in order chronologically in each by each artist and then I get all these some of these proper box sets and these JSP box sets for blues and stuff they're kind of fun and then we get to some bluegrass compilations and then um, some old country compilations and then down here at the bottom I think I just started throwing things together and didn't really care what uh, I put there and I guess there's some rockabilly and some rock and rock and roll and then at the very end there's some jazz my jazz and then I'm not big into jazz anymore and a little bit of classical which I'm also really not into all right, now we're going to the blues. I'm not going to do the box sets because I'm going to do probably all of those in their own sections of videos. So I'm not going to do a slow scan of the box sets. The quick scan was enough. But here is my blues section. And yeah. This is not easy to do with a phone. Um, necessarily. And then up to the top of here, which it used to be just this case here was blues. Um, but they've gotten to be too many. I visited a friend in Bend, Oregon last summer, I guess it was already. And um, I met a friend of hers who was getting rid of all of his CDs. And we went down in the basement and I I bought a bunch. He had a lot of blues, a ton of blues. That was the majority. 
he had around 300 CDs and a bunch of box sets. And after I combed through it all, I said, hey, I could take these back home because <laughs> I drove down there and sell them for you and split it with you. And he said, sure, sounds good. And as I did that, I weeded more of them out for myself and put more money in his part of the pot. <laughs> so a lot of the money he got from was ended up being for me anyway. But I did sell sell everything. And then there's these are compilations I've made and all kinds of other things go in there. And now the bloodshot. I think each one of these big shelves fit um, 650 CDs. Got these from a guy on Craigslist for ridiculously cheap. He even brought them to me. He was really nice. I don't know why he had that in the deal, but I scored there. Really nice guy. Um, and then after Bloodshot, it just starts over alphabetical for um, what I consider good new country and not crappy new country. No offense, sorry, if you're into some of the newer stuff that you hear on the radio. It's not doesn't really do it for me. But... Um, I love country. It's just, it has to be good, in my opinion. And uh, so, this stuff is new country, roots, um, folk, a little bit of folk, uh, bluegrass, bluegrass-ish, that kind of thing is all through here. Alt country, like I was saying earlier, it's got so many labels now, this this genre since Oh Boy, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou came out. I guess I got into this stuff well before that. But, um, yeah, that's spider webbed out into insane obsessive collecting. So there's some folk. There's old Woody Guthrie. I don't know, maybe you consider Greg Brown folk, maybe? I don't know. Allison, uh, uh, what's her name? Iris Demand, maybe? If it, I've got one or two of hers. Ray Wiley Hubbard, I sure don't consider him folk, or Bill Kirchin. I used to work um, for a church that set up shows every month, I think, or every two weeks, and Bill Kirchin played those shows a lot, um, along with another artist that's going to be coming up in here soon. And I got to set up sound for Bill Kirchin and meet him and hang out with Too Much Fun and the band and they once flew out here to where I live now and uh, ended up uh, going to all, oh, John Prine, ended up going to the bar I was working in, it was right across the street, uh, that they were playing and they remembered me and we ended up hanging out and chatting and it was really nice. Bill Kirchin also uh, was at a Southern Culture and a Skid show, standing right behind me in a club, and I wanted a picture. Everybody was up on stage, and he told me, he, he, he recognized me and said, you get up on stage, and I'll get a picture of you. And he did that. He grabbed my camera, and he shoved me up on stage, or I jumped up on stage, and he uh, took a picture of me on the Southern, at the Southern Culture on a Skid show. I think that's in my uh, ticket collection. Uh, one of my ticket collection videos, that story. Okay, so there's, now we're into old country. Classic country, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Honky tonk, hardcore twang, whatever you want to call it. We all got our names for this stuff. I've got a lot of DVDs here as well, but I don't watch those really much anymore. But I might do some, do a video including those, or just showing some of the spines, or including them if they're relevant, maybe to another, to a CD video. Now I'm kind of, my hand is, <laughs> this is not easy, this part, this is the hardest part probably. And my phone's dying too. I didn't think I was going to do this today, but I don't know, I got the itch met a guy on YouTube online who has lots of great, great videos. Jamie Cottle, I think his name is, and he does 
collection stuff like this and I thought, man, that's inspiring. I'm gonna do mine today. Yeah, this isn't gonna completely work out the way I want it to, but I'm not moving stuff around. Um, I'll move a couple of shelves around. And uh, yeah, so this guy, I kind of contacted him and told him I liked his videos and he does, he has vinyl as well. He has a ton of box set videos. It's just crazy. Somebody called him the box set king on there and that, that's, they're not kidding me, it really is. Now we're getting into Rolling Stones bootlegs, which are a little bit obsessive nutty how many of those I have. I'll do a video or two on these. There's a guy on YouTube also who has a video. He just goes through them. Um, it just kind of, you know, just shows you the cover really quick of all of them. And he's got so many that he does this, I think, in four parts. And each one is like 20 minutes long. Um, it's crazy how many stones, uh, bootlegs this guy has. And I think his are all silver discs, all factory press silver discs. I could be wrong, but I think they are. I would make a point of kind of weeding out or showing the difference between that and burns and CDRs and things like that. Okay, now we'll get to people I know and friends. CDs. I think my band's CDs are somewhere, not on this shelf, but they're on the top of my bootleg shelf, just sitting there. Okay, now, yeah, there's there's my CDs and my band's CDs, and now we get to bootlegs. I think we're almost done here, so hopefully I won't run out of space. we can read these spines in this video. I'm going slow enough and close enough. Alrighty, and then we're at the very end. More bootlegs. The Joan Jet amount of bootlegs I have is insane, but many of them are just a, a, a burn inside a white sleeve, so that's not too exciting. I might write the set list on and of course the show and all that. But, and as far as bootlegs go, I didn't record but a few myself and now here's a little close-up of what I have to listen to and I'll go in the other room and do a close-up of the other ones. I got turned on to Carsey Blanton re recently when she did a John Prine tribute song after he passed and I bought all her CDs. And here's the rest of things I haven't listened to and then a couple of things that weren't on the shelf that are supposed to be because one of them I was listening to. It's a Hank Williams box set, and then one that I also bought recently, a Hank Williams box set, what do you know? Anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'd love to hear comments or suggestions for other videos I could do, and uh, have a great day, thanks. Oh, please do a like or comment or subscribe or any of that stuff, because um, I'm doing this because I sometimes see things online that I'm like, I wish I knew what that looked like, or sounded like and uh, I wish people would do videos so I'd fi I find some sometimes and I thought well maybe I could do some as well and uh, show my collection and do little videos of showing what's in these like I did the unboxing for these um, these bootleg uh, five CD sets here anyway thanks have a great day